New Delhi is hosting the Quad Foreign Ministers. India's External Affairs Minister is chairing the meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State and Foreign Ministers of Japan and Australia in attendance. The Quad officially, the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, it's a group of four countries, India, the United States, Australia and Japan. This grouping was a concept developed by late Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as he sought unity among four democracies that have seen friction with China. The Indian Foreign Ministry stated that today's meeting is centered around recent developments in the Indo-Pacific and regional issues of mutual interest. Analysts say the Quad's diplomacy has waxed and waned over the years. It's a loose grouping rather than a formal alliance. China, a country with growing territorial ambitions, has condemned the grouping as a move to encircle it. All four Quad members insist a free and open Indo-Pacific is essential. The Quad grouping has repeatedly emphasized its goal is to maintain a liberal rules-based international order. China seeks to undermine this rules-based order with a revisionist challenge to status quo. The Quad efforts are not focused on creating institutions or military alliances. The idea here is to generate gradual convergence of cooperation on issues such as climate change, critical and emerging technologies, counterterrorism, and cybersecurity. India has long had tensions with China, including a major border skirmish in 2020 and has a growing alliance with the United States. For the U.S. Secretary of State, the meeting comes on the heels of a flare-up in tensions with China. Last month, the United States shot down what it said was a Chinese surveillance balloon just off South Carolina after it spent days traveling across the country. Chinese jets have been intercepting the surveillance planes of Australia and other countries in the Indo-Pacific. With defense outposts on artificial islands, China claims almost all of the South China Sea. The South China Sea is a key gateway for a large chunk of the world's merchant shipping. The sea contains rich fishing grounds and reportedly reserves of undiscovered oil and gas. The South China Sea, therefore, is a key economic and strategic subsection of the Indo-Pacific. For more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sadhan Sibyl has sent us this report from New Delhi. Listen in. The Quad Foreign Ministers meeting will happen later today here in Delhi. Delhi remains the busy capital and just a day after the Foreign Ministers meeting of uh, the G20 countries, the Quad Foreign Ministers will be meeting. Now, this is the first time ever that Quad Foreign Ministers are meeting here in Delhi and focus will be on issues uh, related to Indo-Pacific, the challenges and opportunities. Quad, of course, has been focusing on issues like uh, humanitarian assistance in the region and recently uh, scholarships were also announced, but it's the aggressive Chinese behavior that remains uh, uh, in the backdrop uh, when it comes to meetings like these. Uh, in fact, uh, an aggressive Chinese actions um, have been something that have been uh, one of the major conversations happening in uh, the Indo-Pacific uh, countries. But uh, the fact that um, the Quad is meeting for the first time here in Delhi is something that will be closely noted here in uh, the region and beyond as well. Focus of these four countries have been on uh, uh, on, on various issues uh, uh, like uh, the humanitarian um, challenges or assistance uh, in the region because remember Quad emerged after uh, the 2004 tsunami but uh, thereafter it could not hold and then just uh, few years ago, we have seen the elevation of Quad from official to ministerial level to, of course, summit level. Sudhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. And we are now joined by our correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Susan, thank you for joining us. For the U.S. Secretary of State, as I mentioned earlier, the meeting comes on the heels of flare-up intentions with China. What can you tell us? Yeah, definitely. China is really a, a central aspect of this meeting as foreign ministers of Quad member states get ready to meet right after that G20 summit that we saw the high level in New Delhi. This is a significant meeting, as you mentioned, notably for the United States. It shortly comes after that spy balloon incident on the part of China. And after Secretary of State Anthony Blinken canceled that high level meeting of his in China uh, to China, and also had that very intense talk with the high-ranking Chinese uh, official Wang Yi 
at the Munich Security Conference. So while all sides are expected to talk about uh, maritime connectivity, infrastructure, and health projects, really China's aggressive actions across the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait are going to be at the heart of the matter. All sides are really concerned regarding uh, China's activities on the one hand and then regarding the security of the Indo-Pacific region. We are going to expect a lot of the jargons that we've heard uh, from the United States, notably in this context and Quad member states, about uh, freedom, rule of law, democratic values, sovereignty and territorial integrity when it comes to the Indo-Pacific region, free and open Indo-Pacific and, uh, you know, a, a rule-based maritime order when it comes uh, to the region. So those are the expectations that we have. And I think it's important to note that because of uh, some of Japan's domestic issues uh, in the parliament that they were having, uh, we didn't know that this quad ministerial meeting was going to take place or not. But uh, we do expect the Japanese foreign minister to take part in this quad meeting, setting the stage for the quad high level meeting of leaders later on in Australia this year. All right, Susan, thank you so much for bringing us all the inputs on this. We will, of course, continue to track the developments closely. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.